Hey guys, welcome back. So it's been a couple months again. Sorry about that. I've had a lot going on. Been trying to get a lot done around the house. I mean, y'all know how that goes. So uh, I haven't been able to touch the car, but today I'm back on it. And we're gonna pick up where we left off, which is getting this dash back in the car by putting the gauges that we made in. Now, the only issue is that my speedometer gauge kind of doesn't want to clear. So I'm gonna cut out some metal to get that cleared. We'll get this fastened in. And I'm also going to try to get the uh, front seat out today, put some vinyl paint on it, get all the bad floor pan metal out, and at a minimum, get the new floor pins kind of shaped, a couple of self tappers uh, put in so that we can start welding them up. So that's the plan for today. I got about 10 hours to work on the car, so we're gonna make it count. Let's get to work. Okay, that's in looking good. It's a little bit dusty, eh, don't matter. Uh, I'm gonna put some screws around the outside of this right quick to hold that into place. Then I'm gonna put these gauges back in here, get that all, you know, uh, put back together. Then I gotta open up this hole because I got that other piece that we're gonna put here. And then, yeah, then this was ready to go back in the car. So let's knock all this out. Well, we got everything done. I got this on. We have our charging port on, super happy about that. That way we could charge our phone with one navigation system or something with the other. Uh, this one, the CD player also has one, but you can never have too many charging ports. The other switch is still in the car. It's still hooked up to turn the, uh, the fans on and off. So the only thing that I did wrong was I didn't make this plate right here wide enough. I will end up remaking this at some point, but I'm more focused on just getting the car to where we can like drive it and enjoy it. So I'm gonna have to make a, a plate for right here. And I have the, uh, the cigarette ashtray thing for here, but I'm probably gonna just knock some of this off because that's where our shift handle goes real nice. So at any rate, that is done for now. We're gonna go put it in the car and then pull up and then we're gonna start cutting out those floor pans. Now, we uh, got the dash still sitting back there. We'll put it in the car after I get that, uh, those cheap, awful uh, floor patches that they made out. I'm gonna blow everything out. But I have plenty of time to paint my front seat. I've already painted the back seat, it's drying. What I did was just took some mineral spirits, wiped it all down real good a few times, and then I took a dry rag, wiped it down, took the air hose, hit it with some, uh, hit it with some air. So, I'm gonna start laying some of this down, and then once we get it all covered, somebody will be mad at me because I'm cheating, right? Like there's always one of y'all, there's always one of you that says, oh, the right way to do it is to recover it. This is $10 a can, chief. I can do four cans and get the front seat and the back seat. That's forty dollars. Get this done professionally. You what? Twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred bucks. Do it yourself. You're out six, seven hundred, eight hundred bucks of material. We're keeping this budget friendly. So if you don't like it. Tip. Don't do this when it's windy. Okay, so if you look, it's really splotchy, right? And we don't have full coverage. So there's a reason for that. You don't wanna to put too much down too fast, right? 
Uh, so you put a nice little light even coat, ain't gotta cover everything. We'll let that dry for 10, 15 minutes, come back. I'm gonna hit it again. Try to get uh, you know uh, a good, most mostly coverage look to it. And then that third time is when it's gonna just be completely solid black. So I'll let this sit and I'll be right back. Well, I just got done shoving my face full of a couple uh, fat boy burgers from McDonald's. Had to go into town. I wanted to go ahead while I was thinking about it um, and get some, get some nuts that are locking. So I can go ahead and get them up underneath uh, the hood scoop. I put the second coat on here, put it down a little bit thicker than I probably should have, uh, but wanted to let that dry for a good like hour or so. So went and got the food. I'm gonna put these up underneath the car and then we're gonna hit this. I have one, ugh, fat boy burger. I got one can left of the vinyl paint. We're gonna hit it with that. See how that looks. While that last coat's drying, I'm gonna get the, uh, the floor pans out and we'll see how that looks. Cause you know, from up underneath it's, it's bad. So more than likely I'm gonna do the right thing and just, you know, self tapper down, Zeus a couple sides, sound deadening carpet hides all sins. It doesn't matter right it's not a SEMA car it's a you know going to town rig so is what it is so the last coat of paint for the seat is drying so what i'm going to do now is if you've been around since the beginning um you'll notice that uh that these are the pans that i've been talking about in the first couple episodes we've looked at them and it's they're huge like it's it, they're covering up a lot of space and you can see it from underneath. So basically everywhere where there's a self tapper, I'm just going to zip these off real quick and then we'll start looking at how bad it actually looks. Eh, okay. It's not, it's not good. There's that side. Here's the, the lights kind of fighting me guys. So I apologize about that. Um, but you can at least see what I'm up against. And then this side's about the worst. So what we should have done is just ordered a whole floor from about, you know, right here forward. But I've got a pretty good uh, insurance and I got a life insurance policy. So this is fine. We'll just, we'll cover this up and go. Had to take a bit more metal out than I would have liked. I'm just hoping that my patch that I made is gonna be wide enough and long enough. It's gonna be really close looking at it. So, let me get it up here and see if it fits and then I'll move on to that side. And hopefully I can get this back little section cut out ready to go today also. Still got a few hours of daylight left. Well, it was about an inch and a half too short. So up there, I'm gonna have to cut another little strip and then weld it to this plate and then weld it to the car. I got everything held in right now with some self tappers just so that I could uh, uh, get the shape and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it um, from underneath so it doesn't rust. So I'm gonna work on getting these areas uh, you know, cleaned up, ready for metal. And then depending on what time it is, that, that might be all I can get done today. I'm starting to get pretty tired, so. We got one spot in, we're getting closer. All right, getting longer into the day. Uh, there's this side cut out. And then I went ahead and got this back cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this side in first, that way it's easier to kinda have a little bit more room to sit down. Plus I gotta blow all this out. So having these gaping holes will really help get all this dirt and whatnot out. So I'm gonna blow all this out, put a pan down here, put a pan down here, just get them uh, self tapped in for the time being. And I will have to weld these in probably next weekend cause I'm running out of time and I'm getting tired. So I'm gonna knock this out real quick. <laughs> well, there we have it, that one's uh, screwed down for the time being this one screwed down for the time being I went ahead and just painted everything just to keep it from rusting I know somebody's gonna be like 
if you weld that now, then the paint's gonna make the weld all bad. And you know, I got that. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have to clean, uh, you know, some of this paint off um, before I weld it on. But that's just part of what happens when you have to, you know, store your projects outside. So it's more important to me that I'm not fighting surface rust over and over and over on these. So, you know, at least now we can get in and out of the car and I don't have to worry about, you know, one of those numbers. So we're gonna let that dry. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the seat put in because it's dry. And then I might set the dash in. I don't know, it's done. I can put that in whenever, but it's getting late. So probably just fire the car up, park it. I'll be right back. All right, got the seat back in. Like I said, I haven't put the dash in, but as y'all saw, it's finished, ready to go back in. So only thing left to do now is start her up. Maybe go for a quick spin around the yard, pull in and park it. Let's do that. Well, it's been fun. So if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, unless you don't like me, that's all right too. I'm gonna start this thing up, put her up. Sounds good, huh? Let's go put her up. Well, as Faye would have it, the one thing I didn't replace, power steering, it's leaking real bad. Um, pump is fine, it works great. I have power steering once it's full, but that top seal is leaking out of, so that's gonna have to be done on another day. For the time being, car is back. It's parked. Drove around the yard a little bit. So, yep. Thanks for watching. Have a good week. See y'all next time.